Are you looking for the next big stock with millionaire maker potential? In this video, I will be looking at four massively undervalued stocks that you should be watching right now. Each of these companies has got huge catalysts coming in September and have the potential to be millionaire maker stocks. One of these has just been given a price target that is a whopping 700% above the current price. This is a short video and it's not one you want to miss. So stay tuned to find out how you can capitalize on this opportunity. But before we get into it, if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 500 likes on this video. Help me hit that goal. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. Now let's get straight into it with the first exciting stock that just announced major news. The first stock I'm looking at here is Palantir and for obvious reasons, in case you've been living under a rock, Standard & Poor's have just announced the Palantir stock is set to be added to the S&P 500 index on September 23rd. The stock has already been on a huge run over the past few months thanks to its impressive growth, where revenue has increased quarter after quarter and the company has signed major new deal after major new deal increasing its growth and profitability. But now the stock is set to join the S&P 500 which will increase its availability even for funds that would primarily invest into the S&P 500 and would not have previously been buying into individual tech stocks like Palantir, they will now be buying as part of the index. I made a video last weekend where I went into detail about Palantir, so I won't go into too much detail here. Check out that video for a much more detailed analysis of Palantir stock. But since then, Palantir have just announced that Palantir and BP have agreed a five-year strategic relationship to introduce new artificial intelligence capabilities with Palantir's AIP software. The new contract will build on a decade of deep collaboration that has created a firm foundation for BP's oil and gas production operations. As per usual, Palantir have not disclosed just how much this partnership is worth in terms of revenue, but this is an exciting development for Palantir who have already signed more than 99 new partnerships over the past quarter and continue to see impressive revenue growth. The next stock on the list is trading at only $1.30 but has a Wall Street price target of $11, which is an insane 700% upside from today's price. This stock is Mira Pharmaceuticals, NASDAQ ticker MIRA. Mira Pharmaceuticals is a preclinical stage pharmaceutical development company targeting a broad range of neurologic and neuropsychiatric disorders. So why am I talking about Mira Pharmaceuticals today? Well, the company has just dropped big news. Just today, Mira Pharmaceuticals announced that it has selected neuropathic pain as the primary indication for Ketamir 2, and the company has submitted a request for a pre-NDA meeting with the US FDA and anticipates the meeting to occur in November 2024. So straight away, here is a major catalyst for Mira Pharmaceuticals that is only weeks away. And Mira Pharmaceuticals remains on track to submit its IND application by the end of the year, with human trials expected to begin in the first quarter of 2025. The global market for neuropathic pain treatments is projected to grow to approximately 14.5 billion across the US, Canada and Mexico by 2032. Current treatment options for neuropathic pain include antidepressants, tropical agents and opioids. Each of these come with side effects that can be severe. The opioid crisis alone is costing the United States approximately $1 trillion annually. A stark reminder of the devastating consequences of opioid misuse recently highlighted by the tragic death of actor Matthew Perry, who had openly struggled with addiction. What sets Ketamir 2 apart from other treatments is its unique profile. It is not an opioid and does not share the dependency risks associated with them, and is classified as a non-controlled substance by the US Drug Enforcement. Now remember that this is a company that is currently valued at just over $20 million, but has a hugely promising drug candidate for a market that is expected to grow to over $14 billion. The last time Mira dropped exciting Ketamir 2 news like this was back on July 22nd, and the stock ran up about 700% in a single day, so it's easy to see why analysts have given this stock such a huge price target. The next stock on the list is SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI. So for those of you who don't know about this company, SoFi is an internet-based financial institution which was founded in 2011, but has seen major growth in the past couple of years since going public in 2020. Now if you follow this channel, then you know all about SoFi. This is a stock that I've been talking about a lot over the past year. 
and this company has experienced huge growth over the past few quarters. Membership numbers are up. New product additions are up. Lending products and financial service products are increasing huge each quarter. Quarterly adjusted revenue is increasing each quarter and the company has turned the corner to profitability in recent quarters, as well as setting impressive guidance for full year 2024. But there is a major boost coming. The US Federal Reserve is set to meet next week and is widely expected that they will announce rate cuts. Now this had been expected to be a standard 25 basis point cut, but now analysts have started talking about the possibility of a 50 basis point cut next week. And this will be the first of cuts that are expected to continue throughout 2024 and 2025. So what does this mean for SoFi? Well, first of all, lower interest rates could incentivize consumers with higher interest loans to refinance, creating a positive demand environment for SoFi's home and student loans. Looking at the charts, SoFi is actually trending up again over the past few months. The stock is extremely volatile, but I expect the stock to start moving up again in the coming weeks. I did issue a warning about SoFi stock just over a week ago when the stock broke above $8. But now that we are back around 7 again, I feel the charts are looking very positive again. Looking at MarketBeat, we can see that SoFi has a consensus price target of $9.14 according to 14 Wall Street analysts. This is potential 29% upside from the current price, but as we know, analysts have been underestimating SoFi all year. The last stock on the list is NEO, ticker symbol NIO. This is a stock that I've been talking so much about since the beginning of August. Once the stock dropped below $4, it looked in my opinion to be such great value. I had flagged two major catalysts for NEO. The first of these was the earnings report which we had last week and this has sent the stock into a breakout move. But the second catalyst is still to come and this will be beginning next week. NEO's Envo will roll out the L60 on September 19th, with delivery set to begin in late September. This is the first time that NEO will be competing outside of the premium high price EV market, and the reaction to the Envo L60 has, has been incredibly positive. NEO has recorded its best ever delivery numbers this year, having broke above 20,000 units in each of the past four consecutive months, but in my opinion this is just scratching the surface. Now one of the reasons why NEO stock slumped in recent months was a drop in its deliveries and margins. However, lower production was largely to blame as NEO was upgrading its models to the next generation platform. With the upgrades completed in April, NEO is expecting huge growth in deliveries and they reported impressive margins in their last earnings report. NEO aims for up to 20,000 monthly deliveries of the Envo L60s in 2025 and 40,000 deliveries per month of the premium brand. For this reason, NEO is one of my major stocks to watch throughout the next couple of months. I did do a full NEO analysis just last week, so check that out for a more detailed view. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks in the comments below. Which of these is your favorite and why? Remember that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. But if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.